All right, hey, we are here at the second day of Think 17 here in New York City with Mr. Joe Dearborn from Credit Unions for Kids. How are you, Joe? I'm doing great, Mike. Thanks for having us back. We you're welcome. Oh, my gosh, you're welcome. Anytime, anytime. You guys do some wonderful, wonderful things for Credit Unions for Kids through Credit Union. So you're like, you are the conduit for great things yes, for uh, that organization. Uh, it's a great partnership for 20 plus years now. Wow. Last year, of course, was the 20th anniversary of Credit mm -hmm. Unions for Kids. And, mm -hmm. um, Set a record, a fundraising record in, uh, in last year of over twelve million dollars. Critians, nice. Critians are the third largest corporate contributor to CMN hospitals behind Walmart and Costco. Mm -hmm. So we have Costco in our in our sights, uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm convinced that uh, we're going to challenge them as these uh, over these next few years. Yeah. All right. I like to hear that. That's, that's our goal. Well, wasn't it the last time you talked though? We had Panda Express. Panda kind of Express, giving yeah, us a little yeah, run for our money Panda there. Express, so they had a phenomenal year yeah. last year, uh, but uh, I think uh, I think we can uh, beat back that that uh, that threat and continue as number three and look forward to number two. Fully confident as well. Fully yes. confident as well. Hey, you are you were attended all day yesterday. Anything stand out or any what's what? What do you like about Think? What's what's your favorite thing well, about Think? Uh, well, uh, they create. <laughs> they to throw you for a loop. Yeah, yeah they create. Uh, I think that they do. A co-op does a great job of bringing speakers that make you think, mm -hmm. obviously yeah. about, and it, and it's it's more uh, focused on the credit unions. But there's things that that I can adapt uh, to my everyday business as well of mm -hmm. fundraising. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it's a, a lot of it's the information is transferable, so yeah. it's it's a, I think one of the best conferences of the year, yeah. if 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 not the best, right. and uh, it also gives me an opportunity to see a lot of our credit union partners who are here, thank them for their yep. support, yep. let them know that uh, their impact um, on children's health care is is. Uh, is, is critical, um, especially nowadays with the uncertainty regarding health insurance. Mm -hmm. No doubt, um, no doubt. It's anybody's guess what it's going to what it's going to end up mm -hmm. as, and the impact it might have on families without insurance. Uh, our fundraising becomes even that much more important because mm -hmm. all of our hospitals, of course, are are, um, uh, are nonprofits, mm -hmm. so they provide un uh, billions in uncompensated care for our for our kids and without the support of folks like credit unions, a lot of that care wouldn't be uh, world class like right. it is today. Right. So we're, uh, we're faced with some real issues when it comes to the health care and, and it's so expensive to treat a child. Oh, much, no much, doubt. Much, much more than an adult mm -hmm. and uh, that, that makes the fundraising that much more important. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, we're, we're truly fortunate to have somebody, have, have, a, have a partnership like credit unions who have been committed for over 20 years. And I would, I would say that even more, or even more committed now that they under because they understand how much their support is needed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indeed. And you want, before we started talking here, you wanted to pay tribute to somebody who has had a tremendous impact on the organization for gosh the last thirty years. Last so thirty years. Who yes. would this person be? That would be our lovely Sarah Kanipa Bang. Oh yes yeah, Sarah I just saw her walk by yes, actually. Sarah is retiring. I heard. Uh, after a phenomenal career uh, in the credit union industry. Um, wore a lot of hats over that time. I'm. I might be biased, but I think uh, the biggest the biggest impact of her career was being involved at the very beginning of Credit Unions for Kids back in 1985 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, together with a group of uh, of other uh, credit union executives, they came up with this Credit Unions for Kids program. Uh, she came up with the logo. Really? Uh, yeah. And uh, it's quite a legacy she's leaving. Um, but I. I, I, let me take that back. She's not leaving. She's not going anywhere. Sarah will be around. Of course. And uh, we hope that uh, she might find time to even continue to work with Credit Unions for Kids, uh, provide her expertise. Um, everybody knows who she is. Um, oh, yeah. She's a go-to person mm -hmm. uh, for me if I ever have any uh, questions or, or requests. Uh, and uh, she's always um, been very supportive. Not only does she get involved um, on the local level, uh, supporting wine auction events, uh, but she's also uh, a member of our Board of Governors mm -hmm. for CMN Hospital. Mm -hmm. She chairs the Credit Unions for Kids National Advisory Board. So Sarah gives not only financially, not her support financially, but also her time, which 
as you and I know, your time is valuable. Right? Very precious. You can't, you, you can't get it back, and she's committed um, thousands of hours. You know, it's it's probably uh, it's probably would be hard to say how long, but uh, but she does it with such pa such passion and. Uh, I think we'll see her around in some capacity. Oh, helping, no, most definitely. Uh, helping us with the credit use for kids, but uh, the legacy she's leaving, the impact that she's had on on millions of kids and their families over the years is quite something. And, uh, and she can uh, hopefully walk away and, you know, and... Uh, and appreciate what she's done um, and uh, and again the impact that she's had on, on children's health care. Well it's a well-deserved recognition yeah. for sure because yeah she's had a tremendous impact not only on the credit union industry but on credit unions for kids as well so that's fantastic I mean gosh being there at the inception my gosh that's, that's, yeah, that's an amazing story. That's something to be one of the pioneers mm -hmm. of the program mm -hmm. and to see where it's come I think I think if I recall correctly Sarah said they raised like four thousand dollars that first year. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, the Portland, uh, the Portland, and uh, and Southwest Washington credit unions now raise. I think they raised almost eight hundred thousand dollars last year. So, wow. the credit what a growth curve. Uh, the credit unions, yeah, the credit unions in the Pacific Northwest have helped build, literally build Dorenbecker Children's Hospital. Oh, really? Okay. There's a wing on the seventh floor that uh, was uh, paid for by credit unions. Um, they provide. Um, Money for research. Uh, it's it is quite a uh, quite a legacy. The entire credit union community there has has uh, established uh, in supporting Doran Becker Children's, and that model has been replicated throughout the country. Uh, you have uh, great programs down in Southern California at uh, Children's Hospital Los Angeles, mm -hmm. at Chalk, uh, my hometown hospital, Phoenix Children's Hospital. Got a great group of credit unions there over in Tampa. Mm -hmm. In Texas, I don't want to leave anybody out, but you know, uh, uh, there's. It's been phenomenal to see the growth, and it all started, you know, with an idea like, let's get together as a group and let's raise a few dollars for for ch for our children's hospital. And I think it was, I think the what initiated it, what really got it started was there was a teller at one of the credit unions that had a child treated. Mm -hmm and came to her CEO and said, can we do something for her hospital? This hospital helps save my daughter's life. Yeah. And from Here there, we go. From there, it's, uh, Mike, I think it's uh, going on 21 years, over $160 million has been raised over that uh, period. So it's been pretty phenomenal. That's phenomenal, yeah. You took the word right out of my mouth. Yeah. That's phenomenal. That, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it That's is. a lot of money. Yeah. And you've got, uh, you know, obviously, Co-op has had a big impact with their Miracle Match program. Mm -hmm. For nine years, they've uh, they've committed a um, million dollars annually mm -hmm. uh, to support that program. You know, I could probably say uh, that that nine million has resulted in twenty million in new incremental new incremental dollars mm -hmm. for our hospital. Mm -hmm. So that's been a game changer, yeah. um, and uh, we're grateful for what Co-op has done. Uh, with the Miracle Match program, and they pr they provide support, in kind support, with mm -hmm. other a number of other things as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, it can't be lost uh, in the conversation how important co-ops support has been. Isn't that type of giving though? Isn't it infectious in a good way? You know, yeah. it's like when people see an organization like Co-op and other organizations and people individually yeah. doing that, yeah. it's like, you know what? I should probably get off my rear end and do the same thing. I think I think so. I think it, uh, it, it, to your point, I think it got a lot of people maybe off the fence yeah. and into the game yeah. to say, you know, heck, if, if, if co-op can match whatever I raise, why not do it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's it's created a whole new uh, legion of credit unions that were involved in before that are now actively engaged. And once you get engaged, once you get your employees uh, involved and your members involved, it kind of takes, it, it kind of is organic, it kind of takes on a life of its own, and that's how you raise $160 million. You've got, it's a, as we all know, credit unions are all about collaboration, and that's the key to the success of the program, and will continue to be as we look at the next 20 years and in our efforts to reach and beat Costco, right, and then Walmart. <laughs> Taking them down one by one. Yeah, one, by one by one. So we all, uh, and I know Costco and Walmart, they love the competition. Oh, it's a friendly competition for they, sure. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, it's a, a very bright future for for credit unions for kids, and um, uh, we, you know, we see a, a new generation of leaders starting to to come mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. to come to the forefront, and they I, they have the same. Fortunately, they have the same passion. So. 
I'm very optimistic about what uh, what the future is going to bring for credit unions for kids. Keep carrying that torch. Yes. Exactly. All right. Wrap up question here. Speaking of future, what's 2007, rest of 2017 well, look like have, for you guys? Uh, we just finished up our Change a Child's Life uh, coin collection mm -hmm. campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, next, we have uh, Miracle Jeans Day. Ah, which is everyone likes that. Yeah, which is September 13th. We actually start, we, uh, we give the credit unions the option of starting August 1st with a uh, icon sale to, can, to engage their members. Okay. And then September 13th culminates with the actual Miracle Jeans Day. And then we uh, have um, uh, in... Uh, October, we have Shop for Miracles, mm -hmm. uh, International Credit Union Day. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to come back with Vote for Miracles. Uh, oh, yes. That was, Miracles. He, that was a big success last that year. That was a right? huge success. And again, thank you to Co-op for yeah. their support yeah. of that, that program uh, where we uh, donated $100,000 to the top five hospitals. Uh, had a wonderful response from the public um, and the credit unions themselves in supporting that program. So it, pro that provided us an opportunity to demonstrate what credit unions are doing to a larger audience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we'll come back with that in uh, November through December. And then we have a holiday icon campaign as well. So. It's a very full schedule. Excellent. Uh, and uh, the credit unions uh, obviously will be uh, very much involved in supporting those those campaigns. Yeah, excellent. excellent. Right. So the takeaways here are con credit unions continue to give. And then if you see Sarah around, give her a big hug. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we love Sarah. And uh, like I said, she's not going anywhere. She'll yeah. be, she'll, she, she's, quote, retiring. I, I like to tell her that, you know, it's not really retire. You refire. Right. right? You, yeah. you reinvent yourself. Exactly. You do something different. So. Sarah will be involved at, uh, uh, in some capacity working in the credit union mm -hmm. space. I don't know what that, but I hope that part of that uh, will involve credit unions for kids. I'm sure it will. Yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it will be. Yep. Joe, always a pleasure. Thank, thank you, you for Mike. the update thank and you, all it. the good stuff that you do. Keep up the good work, all right? Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for Well done, sir. Oh my gosh, anytime, anytime.